it's always a wonderful thing when you suddenly get invited or get the chance to do a role which is completely different from anything you've done before. Uh, this was, and then also I, I must consider myself being a huge <laughs> Bourne fan. I, I've watched um, uh, the, the series of the trilogy uh, many times. I even think I told Paul when I met him the first time during our meeting that me and my girlfriends that I used to share a flat with in London on Sundays when we didn't have really anything to do. We were like, oh, what should we do? Let's just watch Bourne again. So I, <laughs> I was well, well into the whole franchise before I was invited. So I was, I was just extremely excited to come on board. I love how they kind of integrate both um, um, social aspects and political aspects and, and, and make it very, very smart and intelligent, yet it still being a popcorn franchise and with all of what that means and with big action sequences and, and it also with Paul coming on, it felt like it was a very new visual look to the series too that I, I, I loved. I, I love that I, you can almost see that he comes from documentary, has done a lot of documentary films and it felt very natural and very realistic at some points. She is a prodigy hacker above anything, and she has been hired by the CIA. She's uh, a key member of the cyber research. Um, her ability is to kind of analyze and predict through social media uh, uprisings in different parts of the world and to control them. And um, I think she's seeing the world for what it's become, that it has changed. I think she sees the opportunities. Uh, because now the world has a fourth version of warfare, which is cyber. And I think she finds that the old guys of CIA maybe needs to upgrade themselves and that she's really part of the new generation of CIA. In the beginning of the film, um, she realizes that it's a leak in the CIA. And thank God she discovers it somewhat soon because she realizes that it could probably have been worse than Snowden. And she also tracks down that it's Nikki Parsons who, ha who is responsible for the hack and that she's been able to track down about, um, well, Black Ops files going back almost 30 years. And then by analyzing what she took, she can also see that she, through them, were mostly interested in finding files about Jason Bourne. So then she kind of puts two and two together and thinks that she's probably after him, trying to seek him up after those 10 years or eight years when he's been off the grid. What is the most interesting for her is that she finds a file of um, uh, a psychiatrist who actually thought that he might be a, um, an agent who could be turned around and be brought back in. And, um, I think she sees him as a big asset for CIA, but yes, I don't think she knows really what she's going to be confronted about. I mean, he is um, their biggest weapon that CIA has created, but he's also the most um, powerful and po probably dangerous assassin. I, like most people, had heard that he was one of the most wonderful human beings and uh, I mean I knew he was a brilliant actor but uh, coming on set he's just like everyone's mate he kind of knows everyone's name and the crew and and when when it when it was my first day on set he was so eager to just come up and say hi and you know ask you if you just want to sit down and have a chat and he's 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 a very you know, gentle. He, he makes everyone in the room feel extremely comfortable. I was up in my hotel room and saw the other night they shut down in the entire strip. I wonder if they're the first film ever who actually has shut down such a big part of Vegas. And uh, yeah, I stood there again as a fan, not really believing that I was part of this film myself, but like stood by the window <laughs> and, and saw some of the things that they were doing down there. And I think everyone will be very excited and pleased.